Well, I think if you see what's out on the ice, it's not very good right now. So, um, you know, I'm sure that I know the team is disappointed. They're uh, they're trying their hardest, and I think that's all we can ask for right now. But I mean, we're just not making enough shots right now to uh, compete with the Europeans. And, and especially, it seems like in the second half, it seems like there's been opportunities where Canada has had the chance to come out with those wins and ending in ties or, or losses. What, what's been happening there? Yeah, it just seems like you know we we, we got some really good opportunities early and we just couldn't capitalize and bury them and then they seem to be able to you know crawl their way back into the game and get a half point or win the game and uh, I think the team is clearly disappointed because you know we want to you know win a draw or two here and there so um, you know regroup see what we can do uh, tonight and tomorrow and uh, make this thing close at least. These are the best curlers in the country. They're used to these pressure environments, maybe not necessarily in this event, but do you see, think that it's turning more into that, that pressure mentality of backs against the wall? Uh, I think we're getting a little too far for being backs against the wall. I mean, we're down into a hole, into a pit, so <laughs> we've got to crawl out of a 10-foot crater, I think, to, to get into this thing. And I think you know, uh, you know, a lot of pride's going to be on the line here. I mean, uh, you know, we can roll over and just here you go, and uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think the team's going to come out as strong as they can and uh, make a goal of it. But uh, we'll wait and see what uh, what we're made of. What kind of inspiration or, or lesson do you take from last year in regards to how that ended with Canada kind of finding themselves in a similar situation and turning it into a really good battle? Yeah, I mean, you always got a chance just because there's so many points on the last day. But uh, you, you never want yourself in that situation where you got to run the table in a last skins game across three sheets. So. So, um, you know, we put ourselves in that situation and uh, it's certainly not where we want to be. Yeah, it's, it's really incredible. We've, uh, we've had games where we've started super strong and we've games where we've been behind, but we've always fought really, really hard. So, um, yeah, it's just been really exciting for these guys to hang tough. And we always say that there's, uh, they're always going to keep coming at us and we've just got to keep fighting. You guys have been in this position now a couple of times. You really uh, you managed to get the lead last year, of course. You really have control. We know that it's weighted quite heavily towards yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. And we've seen how that can happen. Yeah. But uh, going through that process last year and getting that win, has that helped ease the team at all into knowing what to expect this time around? Yeah, obviously it's teeing up to be fairly similar. That we're you know we're going to have some sort of uh, significant lead. But I um, feel this time there's just not the pressure. Last year there was pressure because we hadn't won for so long. This year we're, we're relaxed and, and the guys are playing so good that uh, we can uh, hopefully finish the job. You really see it on the bench. It seems very relaxed. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're comfortable. They've, uh, they've played together in this event a few times and uh, they, they like winning. <laughs> <laughs> That going into tomorrow with the lead, does that impact your strategy at all with skins and how you're going to play them? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, we know they're going to try and roll over a lot. So we're going to have a, a bit of discussion about that and how we how we manage that. But we, we like what we've done with the selections and uh, we hopefully uh, we can just tee up and finish it off.